Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a universal relay driver circuit. So if you have a digital circuit, or a microcontroller circuit, and you want to drive a relay, you need some kind of driver circuit interface between the microcontroller and the relay. So this is my interface here, consists of two transistors. This one's an NPN, a 2N3904. This one's a PNP, 2N3906. And this is my relay, and then there's three resistors. Now the transistors were three cents online, and my relay was sixty cents online. So together with the relay, the two transistors, and the resistors, it's less than a dollar interface. So we can interface a relay to our microcontroller. So I have pin thirteen of the Arduino Nano connected up to the input to my circuitry. This is my input here. So it's an active high input. So when the GPIO line goes high, it goes to five volts. This can activate the circuitry and turn on the relay. So I could uh, activate a program. I'll turn the relay on and off. You can see pin 13 LED on the nano coming on, which corresponds to the this LED here. That's my voltage drive to the coil. So I'm getting 5 volts to my to my circuitry, which is driving the relay. Now this circuitry will also take 3.3 volts at the same input. So I have another microcontroller here. It's my parallax micro, microcontroller, which has a 3.3 volt GPIO output. So I'll hook up the circuitry and we'll drive the the driver circuit interface with 3.3 volts. Okay, I have my parallax microcontroller up and running. Now it's a 3.3 volt microcontroller, so the GPIO output on P0, pin 0, is 3.3 volts, which is fed into the input of my driver circuitry. So I could run a program, I'll turn the relay on and off, so you can hear the relay clicking, and you can see the my LED come on indicates power to the coil, to the relay coil. So I'll turn it off. So you can see 3.3 volts now could activate this driver circuitry. Now I call this a universal relay driver circuit because there's actually two inputs. There's this input here which is active high, so we'll take a 5 volt or 3.3 volt input. And there's another input right here. This is an active low input. So if I ground this point, it'll activate the circuitry and turn on the relay. Now I use this for digital sensors like this one here, which have an open collector output. So this is a flame detector, and then uses a LM393 comparator, which has an open collector, and they feed that to the output pin. So this open collector can be fed into the, the second input of my driver circuitry, and it will pull it low, and it will activate the relay. Also, I have a sound detecting module, same thing. It uses the LM393 voltage comparator, so the output is open collector, so I could hook that directly up to my second input and that will actually drive my relay. So what I'll do, I'll hook up this flame detector up to the driver circuitry and we'll activate it and we'll watch how we could control the relay using an open collector input, an active low input. Okay, I have my flame detector module powered up and I have its output, its open collector output connected to my second input on my relay driver circuitry so when the flame detector detects flame, its open collector will go to ground. It will ground my, my input here, my second input. And I'll activate my relay. Activate my circuitry and then activate my relay. So if I turn on a flame, you can see the relay comes on. And my LED comes on indicating drive to my coil. So with my little driver circuitry now, I could detect 3.3 volt inputs, 5 volt inputs, and open collector inputs from uh, all kinds of different digital sensor modules. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the relay driver circuit, which I built on my breadboard. Now it's powered by 5 volts because we're running a 5 volt relay. And here's my two transistors, the 2N3904, which is an NPN, and my 2N3906, which is a PNP. And here's my two inputs, input number one, which is my active high input, and input number two, which is my active low input. So if we feed a voltage into input number one, either 5 volts or 3.3 volts from the GPIO from the microcontroller, it'll turn on the NPN transistor, which will pull the collector to ground. Now when the collector gets pulled to ground, it'll cause base current to flow in the, in the PNP transistor from VCC to the emitter base junction through the 3.9K ohm resistor and then to ground. Now this small base current flowing through the PNP transistor will cause a large collector current to flow
flow through the PNP transistor, which will energize uh, the relay. We'll turn on the relay. So the PNP transistor is a source driver, so we're switching the high side. So when the PNP transistor come up, comes on, it energizes the relay, and it turns on the LED indicating drive to the relay coil. Now we have a switching diode, a 1N4148, across the coil of the relay to clamp any back EMF uh, switching transients. Now when we short pin 2, that's the active low input, it basically simulates what, what this transistor is doing. So when we short pin 2 through the open collector of a digital circuit, it will short the collector to ground, which basically simulates what this transistor is doing when it gets the input from the GP, GPIO, and then it works the same. It energizes the circuit and turns on the relay. So that's how the circuit works. It's pretty simple. You probably have these parts in your parts bin, so it's pretty inexpensive. So if you need to drive a relay from a digital circuit or from a microcontroller, you could consider building this little relay driving circuit.